Hey everyone, Pinchy Al here. Um, so I want to clarify and get rid of any type of confusion here on the channel and especially on the Patreon page. I don't want to make anybody feel uncomfortable or not understand what is going on currently in the current status of the Patreon uh, build right now. So Luis is one of the Patreon members here on the channel, actually on the page, um, and he has invested uh, money in building the engine that is currently in the car that engine is not the patreon engine that's going to be going in that car um, the reason why we did this is because uh, when we first started earlier on in the season um, we didn't have as many members so we didn't have as much money coming in or funds coming in uh, to get the engine built uh, we're looking around anywhere from like 2500 to 3500 dollars just for the engine to be built that doesn't factor in all the other modifications that we require for that um, car to be done. So, Luis, um, thank you, buddy, uh, you know, a lot. He decided to pay for me to go pull a VR6 engine from a junkyard. And he paid me, uh, not paid me, but he, paid, he purchased all the parts that he needed for his engine. Okay, so the engine so pretty much from the crank all the way up just the engine itself is owned by luis and that's it the engine that we have here the other vr6 that we have here here's the head we actually have an obd1 manifold and uh valve cover and then the actually engine sitting over there we got a bunch already got a bunch of new parts for that engine right now but we invested all that money for everything else because what the car needed the car needed front sway bar rear sway bar you know upgraded bushings uh, headliner we got new seats for it we got new bumpers we got new side skirts um, we got a new clutch we shaved the engine bay had to pay for all that material so everything that we've been investing currently is what we would have put into the engine so but because of we did all that we were able to create more content for you guys while his engines being built now his engines done and it's in the car and we're using his motor for mock-up purposes once we get the car fired up with his motor we're gonna break in the car um, well not the car but the engine for him and he's gonna pick up and take his motor home once that's done our car or the patreon car is gonna be done we're gonna have the wrap all done we're gonna have the wheels all done new tires pretty much everything aesthetically and internally will be done for us. And now we can focus surely only on the engine, which hopefully because of that, everybody's gonna get super excited because we got a better engine being built, um, not better, but a different type of build engine uh, being built uh, for this car. So I'm hoping that you guys understand the, the little bit of confusion that we're having at the moment because we're wondering why is that motor in there and why is it gonna go to Luis? Well, again, Plain and simple, that's Luis's motor that I uh, cherry picked from a junkyard and I built for him um, with his money, not Patreon. And I want to make sure that everybody understands that. So once that motor is gone, we're going to start building that one and then we're going to pretty much put that in there. So what I've also been doing to help uh, make this progress or make this, um, I guess, go faster for us, I've been picking up side work. So... One of my YouTube subscribers actually uh, dropped off a motor and we tore it down. If you remember you guys watching that, and that ended up being a bus on his engine. So I had a spare motor for him and we tore it down and it's a beautiful clean engine. So he's going to donate money for us um, towards the Patreon build. So that's going to get us closer to our goal even faster. I've been selling car parts uh, every time I go to the junkyard or I pull something that from you know I don't need. We put it towards the Patreon build. And that's pretty much it. We use it all as donations towards that. So it's helping us expedite the repairs, or not the repairs, but the build process even faster. Um, the reason why I'm doing all of this is so when we get to the engine, that's all I'm going to focus on is just engine, 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 because I want to um, do some field trips when we go take the engine to get machined and actually get oversized because I don't have any content for oversizing an engine block. So I'm actually pretty excited for that. Uh, same with the head because we're actually going to oversize the valve. Um, we're going to get the, the pretty much the valve seats and everything oversized for more intake and more exhaust flow. So 
again, we're building a high performance, naturally aspirated engine um, next once Luis's motor is gone. So I'm pretty, hopefully that does clarify any type of confusion from you guys. And uh, if you guys have more questions, please, please comment down below, comment on the Patreon page. Um, I would, I'd love your guys' feedback. I mean, all your guys' feedback actually matters to me because I read all of it. I read all of it. Sometimes I don't reply to it, but I do read it. And if I do reply, I mean, I'm, hopefully you guys understand that I'm doing it um, because I actually care about what you guys say. I'm not going to ignore that. That's for sure. And so I hope we... I know we spoke about this a while, months ago. It wasn't like soon. Now that we have more members, this is actually helping us do the process even faster. So um, once we accumulate a decent amount of money uh, to actually get the engine build, we're going to do a, shop, a live shopping list to do the um, NA build and show you guys, you know, what it does cost to build a high compression uh, VR6 because it's not cheap. <laughs> I did my I did a shopping list a while ago and I was just like, whoa, <laughs> it's freaking crazy. But either way, uh, thank you guys for tuning in for this uh, short, short video. And hopefully this does clarify a lot of information and a lot of the confusion we're having. And uh, again, thank you guys and have a wonderful day. And as always here at Pinchy Al's Garage, be safe out there. If you see another Dubber on the road, give him a thumbs up. Deuces. Respect one another. And as always, we're going to break, we're going to fix, and we're going to repeat. Because this is Pinchy Al's Garage, and that's what we do here. Peace out, everyone.